about completeness. I mean, we learn about shalom and, and what it meant. And uh, these tools really bring together not only the financial aspect, but also the spiritual aspect and the physical aspect. So, so everything comes together into, into the completeness and the wellness that, that, a, that a person should have in this world. It. And, and just you know do this doesn't matter how you feel about it just do it and you just gotta you you have to do something to cancel out processing this nervousness inside so that that you, know, you just do it you don't think about it you don't do it because you 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 have a heart uh, heartfelt passion for it you just you, you do it like a military order almost you know just carry it out it's, it's not something that's uh, illegal or obscene you know you you take it as authority coming from God and, and it's in the scripture and we, we venerate that. What God gives the Jewish people is called a sense of value. The problem is that in life we often lose our sense of value. Do you know where we derive our sense of value from? From the people around us. The people that are important to us will define whether or not we have value or not. According to our value in their eyes, we define our own value. And so when we do wonderful things and people that we love say that we are doing great, we feel very good. But the problem is that we're human and as humans we always fall short. And then our value in their eyes go down. And our value on our own eyes will go down when we do that. And that is because we're deriving our sense of value from other people. But should we derive our sense of value from other people? The, the opportunity to live a, um, a more re rewarding life, the opportunity to actually um, to understand the Jewish faith would actually um, be something that would actually give them a lot more depth within in their life, and the opportunity to um, to learn new ideas in terms of and help them and guide them through life would actually be a benefit. The secret tools of Jewish success really creates a path in which your life um, comes into, into alignment into what God wants for you, and that's prosperity. So, so these tools really, really uh, take it all, all together. Well, right now the world is, is going through a crisis, an economic crisis, and a spiritual crisis, and uh, unfortunately people live their lives on the, on the animal cycle. Either that, or, or, they, uh, or they simply leave it to faith. And, and, and living your life based on faith or an animal cycle, that's, that's why um, we get into this crisis. And, and, and by the time you notice that you're missing something like the Torah or the tools, then, then probably it's too late. I think the most important thing is that, that, uh, that we're disciplined in, in uh, following the, the principles because it's, it's easy to, to, in anything to, to be a little bit lax. But, uh, but the principles are very good and uh, we're not afraid of, of negotiating, we're not afraid of, of, of being bold and uh, being afraid of, uh, uh, we were always before more timid in, in, in negotiating whether we're buying a car or, or property or whatever and now we, uh, we feel more empower, empowered. It was the simplicity about how easy it was to institute <clears throat> the principles into our life. We buy a car, we paid it off, we paid cash for the property that we just purchased. Um, 
oh my gosh, uh, built up our savings. Uh, and it's, it's interesting because this is in a time of, you know, apparent uh, financial difficulty. So very easy and... Uh, the subject I like to talk usually is about money. What's money? Just paper. But is the kind of paper that people queue and die for it. Why? Because it has value, right? What does it make money have value? Why, for example, given if, you, if I give you a Paraguayan peso or an American dollar, which one has more value to you? America. Even if I give you a hundred dollars worth of Paraguayan money and a hundred dollars of, of, of American money, you prefer the American Why? Because we derive this sense of value not from what your friends think about the money, but from who created the money. We know that the American government, with all the problems we have, is still a more reliable organization than the Paraguayan government. Through the secrets of Jewish success has been very informative. It's been life changing, um, and it's really set me set my path. Benefit in knowing these secrets is um, knowing how to handle the various things that happen in your life, uh, various situations that happen in your life, and understanding what's actually transpiring in that situation. If our friends or the people we love did not make us. How can we derive our sense of value from them? Doesn't even really, in the logical sense, make no sense whatsoever. Because people would always like us more and less. And if we are going to derive our sense of value from that, we're going to live this life that is what I describe in my book as an animal cycle. You're going to feel wonderful, and you'll feel terrible, and you'll feel great because you, you did something very nice, and then all of a sudden, you did a misstep, and you feel horrible. And this is a very chaotic way to live your life. This is actually one of the tools of chaos, because what they're doing to you is treating you like a toothpick going up and down until you break. Whereas if you derive your sense of value from who has created you, you always will have the same sense of value. You will never go up or down. The way that other people see us influences us. We have spoken not long ago about the spies that went to, to enter, they, they went before the, the Israelites into Israel. And they saw those giants carrying the grapes. And they said, they say, oh, there will be great to live in this land where they have giant grapes. They said, those people were looking at us and feeling that we are like grasshoppers, that we are like, just like small bugs. So they have no sense of value whatsoever. I think that Rosh Hashanah comes to us once again every year exactly to tell us this. It doesn't really matter that other people have opinions about you. If you derive your sense of value from God, your actions will reflect that. And therefore, your sense of value from other people, which by the way, by then you don't care, will be always higher. And I think that's...